Today we have the One Leaf Commander MV400 452x50 Night Vision Scope. First, we want to say thank you to One Leaf for sending this night vision scope for a review. And today, we're going to start with the unboxing of the system. Some of the great features the Commander MV400 includes is the Commander MV400 is equipped with an ultra high definition 4K Sony Starvis. CMOS sensor. The video recording offers options for 4K at 30 frames per second, 4K at 60 frames per second, and a 4K at 120 frames per second. Up to 437 yards night vision range and a 6 group optical lens. Built in rechargeable battery and a replaceable 18650 rechargeable battery. The Commander MV400 comes with three different modes, Daylight, Starlight and Night Mode. Digital Zoom and First Focal Plane and Second Focal Plane. Also comes with a Sleep Mode for saving your battery while hunting. This night vision scope setup include batteries, chargers, infrared flashlight, HDMI cables, Allen wrenches, lens covers, eyepieces, instructions, and the scope with the range finder. Let's identify the components of the NV400. On the left side from the back, we have the detachable laser rangefinder. On the right side, we have our infrared flashlight. On the front, we have our focus adjustment. Sunshade and lens cover. On the back, we have eyepiece focus adjustment and eyepiece mount. On top of the middle, we have the battery. On the right side on the middle we have the SD card, HDMI connection and a USB connection port to charge the MV400. Now it's time to turn on the system. On the rear top we have all the configuration buttons including the knob of the digital zoom. On the left side we have the green power button. With a long press the system will turn on. First thing you're gonna notice after you press the button is the green light is gonna light up. Give it about 5 seconds for internal setup. When the system is ready, you're gonna notice all the buttons are gonna light up. Let's take a closer look of the buttons of the Commander MV400. This button is for the brightness adjustment and playback. The next button is for switching between the three different video modes and picture in picture. This button is for recording and taking pictures. Here we got the knob for a digital zoom and on top the button for menu and range finder. Turning the knob, he will zoom in or zoom out. In the back of the infrared flashlight, you can find the power button. When you push the power button on the infrared flashlight, it will light up, as well the power indicator. This flashlight comes with three different power settings and a beam focus adjustment. This is what you will see inside the scope, but this is not gonna be recorded by video or show up on the video. The only things on the video will be the radical and the day stamp. It doesn't look very well because I'm using my phone to record a screen. And guys, you will have a screen inside the scope and that's what you're gonna be looking the whole time. Here I wanna show you how you use the system and how you adjust your system. The system comes with seven different style of radicals. Here we got the one shot zero. Here is where you zero your scope with a digital radical. To move the reticle up or down, side to side, all you need to do is use the knob for the digital zoom. The system comes with different reticle colors, white, red, green, blue, and black. The position tells you the reticle adjustments. 
On ballistic parameters, you can find ballistic group, ballistic coefficient, ballistic model, bullet weight, initial velocity, zero range, sight height, shooting angle, wind velocity, wind angle, altitude, temperature, barometric pressure, relative humidity. Our next stop is first focal plane or second focal plane. Here you can switch between second focal plane and first focal plane. In range marker align you can adjust the range marker. ISO sensitivity, units which is yards, you can switch between yards and meters and a screen aspect. In movie mode you can switch between the frames per second and the quality of the video. Photo resolution, movie clip time, auto record, sound record, exposure, metering, brightness, contrast, saturation, magnification adjustment, red dot, bottom backlight, LCD brightness, picture in picture, day study and night display icon, display widgets, and we got compass calibration, gyroscope calibration, stamp, day format, clock setting, format SD card, version and card information, and reset setup. This stance manual is gonna help you to set up your NV400 scope. Now let's take a look how the system works at 25 yards during the day. The vibration on the screen is me because on the table that I have this scope is moving. Let's take a look at different modes of the video. This one is a starlight. Night vision mode. And back to daylight. Now let's play around with the digital zoom. Keep in mind this system works like a regular digital camera. This night vision scope have a great quality video during the day. I think it's one of the best that I ever test. It's time to check out this system at night. And guys, it looks very clear. At 31 yards, you can see this rabbit very, very clear. Recording at night requires fine tune on the focus adjustment and infrared flashlight. But nothing impossible. If you achieve the right tune, you will get a very clear video. Just take your time and practice a lot at different distance. I noticed the system just require a micro adjustments. In my point of view, this entry-level night vision scope can hang around with mid-price night vision scope. I think all it needs is a better IR flashlight. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, and see you in the next one.